Let's do a question, heating up the OR. A 42-year-old woman is undergoing a DNC for fibroids. She's under general anesthesia with propofol and halothane. Her heart rate climbs to 145 beats per minute, and her temperature at 8.04 a.m. was 37.5, at 8.08 was 39.6, and at 8.09 was 40.1 degrees. Now, if you're still using Fahrenheit, that's 104 degrees, and you can write that down on your stone tablet. The gynecologist tells you that the patient is starting to twitch. What is the appropriate action for this patient? Do you A, request an urgent blood test and assess this patient for rhabdomyolysis? B, do you request an urgent urine test to assess for myoglobinuria? C, do you administer more propofol urgently because she's under sedated? Or D, do you administer dandrolene urgently? Okay. If you answer D, you can become a doctor. If you answer it anything else, you should hang up your stethoscope now and become a truck driver because really you need to recognize malignant hyperthermia. This is critical for your training. This is going to be critical for your exams. Malignant hyperthermia dantrolene within one minute or the patient dies. So remember this stuff. It's going to be on your exam. You may even have more than one question on your exam. So remember, if you see halothane and a high temperature, think malignant hyperthermia first and look for the dantrolene in the answer. A 32-year-old female is brought into the ER unconscious with evidence of physical abuse. She's suspected to have had a head injury. She has increased intracranial pressure when you look on the fundoscopic exam. The ER have referred her for an urgent craniotomy because there has been diagno they have a diagnosed uh, intracranial bleed. You're called in to sedate the patient. What drug would you choose? Would you choose thiopental? Medazolam, propofol, ketamine, or nitrous oxide. Okay, you chose thiopental. In this clinical scenario, reduction of intracranial pressure is the most important issue. Choosing a drug that may increase intracranial pressure is contraindicated. Ketamine may increase ICP through cardiac stimulation. Nitrous oxide causes cranial vascular dilatation, which also may cause increased ICP. Thiopental is well known to reduce intracranial pressure and is the drug of choice here. Now, midazolam and propofol may reduce intracranial pres pressures, but this is a less predictable um, phenomenon. So the answer here is thiopental. I put thiopental, midazolam, and the uh, propofol all in the same question on purpose because I want you to recognize that thiopental is the drug of choice and it works a little bit better. That's it for the questions. I hope you enjoyed this course and good luck on your exams.